Do you want him to speak on your behalf? So, so if you if you want him if you want him if you want him to speak on your behalf, then in that case, okay. You see, you see, this is the problem. That's how this when we deal with the Christian, we find these people. This is the problem. You see, they will not allow they will not allow decent people like yourself to speak. This is the problem. So, so now if he wants to speak about yourself, I'm talking about yourself. I'm not talking about anyone else. I wanted your experience, your own understanding about Christianity. Yes. So can you please tell me, what do you think Jesus was sent for? So, the purpose of Christ, as far as Christianity goes, is that he came as a sacrifice to save humanity. To save humanity? In, in, in what terms? How to save humanity? How to save from what? So he, he came as the perfect sacrifice that would redeem humanity and see them as uh, potentially perfect in front of God. So, so he was sent as a sacrifice, yes? Did he know that he was sent as a sacrifice? So he knew that he was sent as a sacrifice? Okay. Now the question is to you, if he knows that he was sent as a sacrifice, what was his last statement on earth? When he was on the cross, what he said? Father, forgive them, but then do not... Okay, do you want him to speak on your behalf? So he knows, so I will say, I will advise you, if he wants, because I don't want, we don't want to deal with these, I will say, no, Islamophobes. If you don't write, then yeah, Hackler, so we wanted a decent discussion, and I wanted to listen to you, yeah, well, and all my ears with you, I just, I wanted, we wanted to have this discussion, yeah? So that's why my, my advice, again, if you wanted to have a decent discussion, so we don't, we will not allow no one to, to hackle him, the same thing. I will add, if someone came from Christianity or Christian people, just tell them, you know what, just be, you know, it's my discussion, simple as that. Now, going back, so he said when he was on the cross, Elohim, Elohim, Lema Shabakhtan, meaning, why have you forsaken me? Who's forsaken who? Who has forsaken who, to, to your understanding? But you, you know, you know, you said he knew that he was a sacrifice. So he was, he was suffering and he was hesitating. He said, why, why did you leave me alone here? Why did you leave me alone? Why have you forsaken me? So if he knows that he was a sacrifice and if he submit willingly to be sacrificed, what is the point for him to say this? He said it as a more of a lamentation, an expression of the pain he was feeling. Right. It wasn't which, which means that goes the opposite. There are people, there are people who literally been killed for some purposes, yeah? And they stood like men until the end of their life, because and they were never big or something because they, they came for a purpose. They don't mind to be killed for the purpose of their life. I'm not talking about Muslims, I'm talking about other people even, even other faith, even even secular people, even uh, communists, yeah? When, when they were killed, they will, they will kill them while he's chanting for, the, for his party. He will die until the last minute talking about the same purpose, which means he will not hesitate and say, oh, why have you forsaken, why have you done that to me? So that's why I will say to you again, if he was sent for this purpose, why did he, why did he hesitate? And he was at that time, and he was taken even the day before. Yeah, he was taken. You know, take this cup away from me. You know, he he didn't want to be sacrificed. As a why? Human, as a human. So so if he was, if he know that his purpose is this, why will he say such statement? So, like again, it was more of a, it wasn't necessarily an order, it was more of a lamentation, like an expression of the pain. But the, the, the psalm that he's quoting is not necessarily, it starts off quite dark, but it's not, it, it's more of a triumphant psalm. So he's quoting a psalm, but the psalm is not necessarily just lamentation. It, yeah, but, but he, that shows what he feels, that shows that, that he doesn't want. No, 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 if you, if you read the, if you read the psalm... Again, he is still heckling. So that shows that he doesn't want. So that's why when you say, if he was sent and he knew, he knew from before that he was created for this purpose. No creation. Yeah? Who said created? And so, Who so, said created? So, so he was, he, he was became, created for this purpose. He became man. Okay, now he's a clone. He became man. So he, you see here, he is not satisfied that you spoke about Christianity. See, this, he doesn't trust you to talk about what you believe. This is the problem. That's their problem. For us, if you know a Muslim is talking about it, he's confident about talking about himself, I will leave them. Yeah? So he doesn't trust you 
he think you are insignificant in his eyes that you talk no, about Christianity. No, that's not. That's not. So, that's so not. then, then he should he should be quiet and let you to talk about your decent no. discussion. Yes, then, he then should be that. When you speak lie, I will. I will. You see here, that's the problem. So here, going back, I, going back to the point, to going back to the point. <laughs> yeah, going back to the point. Yeah. So you said so. Jesus, the day, the day, the day before, the night before, he was he he was begging God to take this cup away from him. The day that he was on the cross, he was saying, "Why have you forsaken me?" All these things it tells you that he is not fully submitted to the thing that he came for. According That's one thing. You. Now, I will, add, I will add to your information. To you. I will add to your information. You see, I told you, no. those people... According to you. He According to you. No, 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 relax, 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 don't move. Why you push me? Why you push me? Why you push me? No, 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 no. Listen. No, no, no. You know, it, I mean, why did you... Listen, listen. You know what? You see, this is the problem. That's, 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 that's their problem. This is their problem. That's their problem. Unfortunately, they just want to interrupt all the discussion. They, they are like this, very aggressive people. Unfortunately, what we can do. So going back, going back to the to the point. So, so here you could we could tell from my understanding, yeah, that now you could tell me maybe if you could you could say whatever you think from this. From my understanding, if someone is fully submitted for a purpose, yeah, he will not say such statement. Do you agree or not? You disagree? Can you please tell me your, the counter, for example, your, your, your counter argument? Well, because the acknowledgement of the pain doesn't necessarily mean you, don't, you disagree with the... With the with no, the you could acknowledge, you could say, ah, I, or whatever, but you can't say, why have you forsaken me? I mean, you can't say this. You know, it's, there's different to say, oh, 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 ouch, or whatever you say in, you know, in any language. You could say all these painful things, you could shout, whatever, but you say that again, humanity. that's right. So he this is the problem. He Can you tell him to be quiet? Agony. He was feeling everything. Okay, going back. I will come in a minute. Yeah? So, the question is to you. Yeah, not to him. To you. What was the purpose that he has said such statement? I feel, like, I feel like I'm going to say the same thing, like it, it was more an expression, it wasn't necessarily an, 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 an declaration. You could express it anyhow, but you cannot say to your Lord who has sent to you, why have you forsaken me? Yeah, but if you read the psalm that that's quoted that from, it's not purely lamentation. There's a you could use, you, but but he chose certain things from this, from the from from that. He chose one statement. He didn't choose one. He chose one statement, and that specific statement it indicates that he is not fully submitted to the thing that he came for. So, so that's one thing. I will add to your information, and maybe you, you correct me if I'm wrong. You are saying he was a sacrifice, yes? And the purpose of his sacrifice, correct me, I will say this, and if I'm wrong, just correct me, yeah? So the sacrifice in the, in the Old Testament, that if someone, you know, if the people committed sins, they will, they will slaughter a lamb or a goat or something, yeah? To, to expiate the sins, yes? To, to, for example, for forgiveness, or to expiate the sin or to remove the sins, they will do a sacrifice, yes? Yeah? Yeah? So Jesus, he came to do the, the final sacrifice, so no one needs to slaughter a sheep or something. If you believe in this concept, then you will be saved, and that's a sacrifice for you. Yes? 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 Agree? Do you agree? Again, so the Jesus, when he was sent to be the sacrifice, yeah, so his purpose, his purpose as a sacrifice is literally he will be slaughtered, he will be killed for to give to give salvation for all humanity, yeah? Or all the people that they, they follow him, they follow him, yes? 
Yeah. Let's go for Mohammed. Inshallah. Net. Let's finish in a minute. Yeah, in yeah, inshallah. So, so now here. But do you know in the Old Testament, the sacrifice wasn't for the intentional sin. In the Old Testament, that the sacrifice for the unintentional sin. Do you know this? Do you know this? The sacrifice was okay. The 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 the, the sacrifice were for the unintentional sins, meaning the sins that you didn't mean to do it, but for the intentional sins that you have to repent to God from these sins, not the intentional one. So the point is, even the Old Testament, according according to the faith, the Christian faith, that the sacrifice wasn't for the intentional sins, was for the unintentional sins. Now, since he's since we are talking about the unintentional sins, then in that case, then in that case, then in that case, where where? Which way? Okay. Come, come here, come here, brother. Yeah, yeah, okay. He needs to, to do. Do you want to make a video? Can he sit here? Can we use the chairs or shall we go? Move the cameras. No, the thing is. Yeah. Come, come. Sit here, sit here. Okay, okay, good, good. So, going back to the point that I was talking to you about, yeah? So the sacrifice in the Old Testament was for the unintentional sins, not for the intentional sins, meaning not for the sins that you meant to do it. So that was, they used to do the sacrifice, they will do the sacrifice for the unintentional sins. The intentional sins you have to repent. So that's why the concept to say Jesus was the sacrifice. That's a, that's a wrong, that's a wrong, that's a wrong, that's a wrong. Where, where? Outside? Or here? Shall we pray here? You're coming now, yeah. Yeah, I'll come now, inshallah. Listen, brother, can, can I go and pray? Uh, and, and I will come back. We'll come back and finish the discussion, yes? Yeah? I enjoy, I'm enjoying the discussion so far. If you want, okay. Where are the brothers? Brothers, where are the brothers? The Kenyan brothers. You know what? Let, let them go. Let, it's okay. Let's, let's finish this here and then we'll go. Hashem! Hashem! Just give me five minutes. Just five minutes. Okay, let's go. Let's go. go. Okay. Then, the, this is the first point. The second point, yeah. If you say Jesus was was the sacrifice, in the even in the the Jews they used to bring their, you know their 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 sacrifice to the to the highest uh, uh, to the highest rabbi. You know that that rabbi will do the sacrifice. So the question is to you. So they used to choose. What happened? What happened, Ali? 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 What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I thought no, it's this friend. I don't know what's going on. Okay. You see here, they become, they become mad. Things become mad. Who? Yes. 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 يعني ممكن يكون مش بس حاجة يعني ممكن يكون هذا ممكن يكون غيره الروايات طبعا ممكن يكون إلى لكن هي ما تتعارض هي تتوافق وتكمل بعضها بعضا ما ما تتعارض ما فيش تعارض مثلا فتبينوا فتثبتوا هي نفس الكلمة 
قالوا قراءة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فتبينوا قراءة فتثبتوا وكلاهما نفس المعنى او مقارب للمعنى فما يتعارض ورياح وبشرة ونشرة مثلا نفس الشيء نفس الشيء نفس الشيء سبحان الله بارك الله فيك هي مبشرة وهذه جاءت منتشرة نعم هي اقدم رواية رواية حفص ولا رواية شيخ كل كل مع بعض ما في اقدم ما في اقدم ما فيش نظام القدم هذول قراء اشتهروا بشيء اه ها ها اوكي نو نو بروبلم Okay, going back to the point, my brother, yeah? Now, so they used to take this sacrifice to the priest, to the rabbi. This rabbi will do the sacrifice, yes? Now, who killed Jesus? Who killed Jesus? No, the Romans. The Roman soldiers. The Roman soldiers, they were the earth who killed Jesus. It was, it was a plot by the... By the other, uh, some of the Jews or something, but it was, it was the, the Romans who killed Jesus, basically, or they claimed to kill Jesus. Now, now to you, meaning that those ones who killed Jesus are they good people or bad people? What do you mean bad people? They have done, they have done God's work. They have done God's work. How come doing God's work is bad? God can utilize evil to produce good, but it doesn't, it doesn't... So, but it just doesn't justify the evil. Pardon? But God has sent Jesus to be killed. Yes. So, he was the sacrifice. His, God's ability to use evil for the ultimate good. Well, but it, this is not the case in the Old Testament about the sacrifice. No. They were using good people to slaughter the animal. Why God has used evil people to slaughter the best person? And why this innocent person to be killed for, for this uh, for this criminal, for this Al Capone and Hitler and all of these ones who get salvation from them? How how is that? Well, the reason why it had to be someone who was innocent and perfect, so there wouldn't there wouldn't be a necessity for another one. Fine, okay, but but those people who killed Jesus, they're evil people, according yes. to you. Yes. But they have done God's work. They have done the, what God wants. God sent Jesus to be slaughtered, to be killed. So they have done what God wants wanted to be done. Yes, but it doesn't remove the evil, the evil, the evil, the deep. Well, no, that means slaughtering the animal wasn't evil before. Really? This slaughtering a goat in the Old Testament is not an evil thing. Yes, I agree. How how do you say it's slaughtering killing Jesus? Salam wa rahmatullahi wa How do you say Allah barak fiqh? How do you say killing Jesus is evil? Killing Jesus was obviously evil because he was undeserving of the death. One second. You, but these animals are undeserving to be slaughtered, in, according to what you know. According to you, the same thing. You see, my brother, all these contradictions. You know, you see, do you see these contradictions? Do you notice this? Are you noticing this? This doesn't make sense. This animal was slaughtered, and that animal was innocent to be to get to get salvation, and Jesus was innocent to get salvation, which means the killers of the animal wasn't doing something evil, but the killers are doing something evil. How come? And yet Jesus, he didn't choose to be to be to be killed, and that shows he was saying, "Take this cup away from me," and he was saying until the last moment, he said, it, it, uh, and he was saying, "Why have you forsaken me?" All these things indicate to you that he didn't choose. I don't fully agree, but I want to. I want to see where else it, uh, the, 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 the other thing. Why? What's, why? Where, where's the concept of the Trinity in, in the Bible? Oh, the Trinity. Okay, so the axioms exist in the Bible. The axioms that create the Trinity exist in the Bible. Where is this in the Bible about the Trinity? In terms of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Yeah. They are, where is this mission? They are. They are they are existent in the Bible, of course. Okay. But it was the encapsulation of this understanding within the Trinity that I think is where the, where the debate started. But still, the same. It's not the concept that to, to believe that the Father is a full God and full man, to believe that Jesus is a full God and full man, to believe the Holy Ghost is a full God and full man. This is not in the Bible. The way that the way that is structured, and even that you know you know the the Council of Nicaea which is 300 years after Jesus, after Jesus died. This, this council of Nasir, yeah? yeah? It's, it's literally, you know, it's a, they have, they have, they voted. 
they voted for the Trinity. The Trinity wasn't, a, wasn't the, con the main concept at that time. And some of them, they are forced to agree on the Trinity, on the Trinity by Constantine. The thing is, in order for the Trinity to be valid to you, you would have to believe that Christ was, in some sense, equal to God. But he never claimed to be equal to God. So if you don't believe that, there's no... There's no there's but no he, never claimed, he never claimed this. I would, there's, I would say no, he, he, I think he did... He did That's I think. I don't care about what you think. We think many things. I think there is a monster behind this tree. It doesn't matter what you think. It matters what's the truth. Jesus never claimed to be God or equal to God. I think, I think there's... Not what you think, I want facts, like what? I think there's evidence in scripture. Like what? His claim to... Uh, like what? Be, um, there's a quote in Revelation, I think that's probably the best one, in that Christ says that he is, he is Lord. No, he doesn't say I'm God. He never claimed to be God, and he was, he was saying even to the to the leaders of the Jews, and you are gods. So what's the meaning of this? He said to the Jews' leaders, you are gods as well. He said to them. He said that you are gods. Check it, check it in the Bible, you'll find. He said to them this. I do actually, okay, I want it to, I do actually. One second. Where Jesus I there for the one and or equal and then the crowds. The crowds correctly interrupt uh, to the mean Jesus and someone of them equally with God and here one second. And then he said, Because you being a man make yourself God. So that's one thing. Jesus replied. Uh, one another verse. Jesus answered on the second. And Jesus answered, it's not written you and you it's not written in your law. I have said you are God. That's John John ten thirty four. And here I have said you are God. See you see the point? Ten thirty four. Thirty four or twenty four? No, ten thirty four. So my point is, listen, okay. yeah, my point is the word God not necessarily is as a God as what we think. It could be different things, it could be, by the way, even in Arabic, Rabb means Lord, and it could be as well uh, about about the God, it could be called about the, the house, the landlord, it could be called about, you know, not this, it depends where you use it. So that's why even Jesus, not, he didn't claim to, he said, I am God, worship me. He never said this. So... What if within the Bible the Father himself claims Christ as his son? Uh, but the Father as well claimed to David to be his son. The, uh, the Father as well claimed to be Moses to be his son. The Father claimed to be children of Israel, his children. So he has many sons and many children. So, so do, do you see the point again? Yeah, but what I'm saying is what if within the midst of Moses and Elijah, God singles out Christ and says, he is my son? But he, that David is, a, David is the son of God, Moses was son of God, children of Israel were children of God. So in the Bible indicates sons, again, not necessarily means sons that are the begotten sons, as they claim. And even begotten is like, in, in, like injected inside the, inside the Bible, rather than to be there. So 
you're saying that the sun, the title of the sun is only is only metaphoric and it's yeah. only symbolic. Yeah, it's only it's symbolic. Not, yeah, it means servant. It means servant or something like that. Okay. Um, that now, could it make sense to you if he was servant of God? Servant of God, yes. That makes sense. It makes sense. That's, but, that's, that's all the prophet and messenger, they're servants of God. They, so, so that's why my point, my brother. I wanted this genuine discussion and that's why and that's why I want all the brothers and sisters who are watching us as well and to see this is the point. It makes sense even in the Bible, when you study the Bible, it makes sense even when Jesus was, when the people claim that uh, son of God, it means the servant of God, the one who came to serve the purpose of God, then he's a son of God, that's how they call it. But not necessarily the begotten son or some God doesn't need, doesn't need to have a children. God, if God wants to forgive us, we'll just forgive us, simple as that. That would be a perversion of his justice, I think. Why? God, from his justice to forgive the sinners. If you repent, he will give, forgive you. Isn't that justice? Without the sacrifice. Is it not justice? No, why? Why The concept of the sacrifice, not necessarily is, is, is the way that, even in the Old Testament, is the intentional sins. The intentional sins, you have to seek forgiveness. Yeah, Christian, this is the justice. As a Christian, you're still instructed. Why, why would it, why God, why God, you, why you think God, he has to be, there has to be a sacrifice for accepting, accepting the forgiveness? Because in order for there to be, well, in order for God to be satisfied, there has to be God, some But God, God, God satisfies when you, when you seek repentance, when you repent, then he will accept you. No. Even before Jesus, I mean, the same thing. No, People, they will the acceptance of sacrifice. The sacrifice for the unintentional sins, not for the intentional again. I'm repeating this to you for you to understand. The unintentional sins, meaning a general thing, then yes. The intentional sins you have to repent. Yes, I, I, I agree with what you're So not necessarily you have to sacrifice for the intentional sins. That's the point of, of repentance. So if Christ says that they do not know what they do in terms of they, they are unintentionally committing a sin and so they No, if they know if you kill someone you know what you do. If, if, if Christ says he, they, they, they don't know what they're doing in terms of they don't understand the full scale of the Yeah, but, they, but when you kill someone, you, do, you know what you do. When someone fornicates, he knows what he's doing. You cannot say they don't know. The reason why I'm asking because when he was on the cross, obviously he said they don't know what they're, they don't know what they're doing in terms of they don't know. Even the first five to say to claim that he's God and he doesn't ever claim to be God first of all. Secondly, he wasn't, he wasn't submitting to this purpose as you said. We, we said this in Manda statement saying, he, he said, take this cup away from me. He said another said, why have you forsaken me? That shows he didn't, he's not fully submissive to the point that you're talking about. Thirdly, that he was, the unintentional sins are those ones which, is, which God has, has uh, you know, that he has sinned for. I, I don't think... That, I mean, the sacrifice, I mean, was for the unintentional sins. The intentional sins, you have to, you have to seek forgiveness. This is what God saying. See if God not forgive. God is good, isn't it? Yes. God is good, yes? God is good, yes. So why, why you need to kill a, an innocent person to give salvation for Al Capone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why God? Why, this, that's serious. That's a serious question. Why God need to kill an innocent person to give salvation for someone like Al Capone or Hitler or all of these tyrants who have killed men, millions of people or all of these people who got involved, you know, in the, you know, in the wars and killing people? How God will kill an innocent person for these? For these people. What would drive you to sacrifice something? What would drive you to sacrifice something? What is the point? To the point is, why we need to sacrifice a human being? I, I, That's I paganism. No, I agree that it wasn't that, that. Do you agree I, that the pagan used to sacrifice a human being? God has never, never, never did the sacrifice of a human being. No, or accept the sacrifice of a human being. God has never committed or never instructed the Jew or the Jews to but he was created for that purpose. So he, ne but he, never, he never instructs, it's not, it's not instructed by law that the Jews... Yes, but he was created for that. You are saying, when you create someone, for example, okay, I will create this car, but not to be driven. What's the purpose you created it for? The sacrifice, the, the, the evil that, that created the sacrifice was still evil. It was still, it was, it That's your it understanding. Justified. That's your understanding, but which is wrong. But if you if you think objectively, Jesus never submit to this. He didn't accept this. That's why he chose not to take it. Thirdly, 
thirdly, and, and he wasn't meant for the, the sacrifice for the unintentional sins, not for the intentional sins. I'll keep repeating this for you to know. So the intentional sins, you have to repent. Simple as that. So those ones who killed, and uh, the one who killed Jesus, those are evil people. In the Old Testament, the people who used to slaughter the animal was good people because they're doing the God's work. Yalla, inshallah, okay. Anyway, it was a good discussion with you. It was a good discussion with you. Yeah? But I, will, I want you to reflect on this and think about it and read the Quran. I advise you to read the Quran. We have an open book, just read and see. We honor Jesus as the Prophet and Messenger of God. We don't say all of these things that he is, you know, he was, he was killed for the purpose of, of salvation. No, no. God will say to us, you know, forgive us, he will forgive us. God is good. God is good. That's what you need to know. Yes, brother? Allah, may Allah guide you. May Allah show you the guidance. Okay, inshallah.